Hello and welcome, my name is the Elder Souls HD, and you're probably wondering, this isn't a Skyrim video, and you're absolutely right, this is my first video on Dark Souls, and I decided I would do a Let's Play, so let's get things started. This is my first time going into it, so let's load a new character, and I made Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I made this because if you look at the face, I think it looks incredibly like Ryan Reynolds. And I'm going to be a cleric and no gift. So, I think that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to be uh, mirroring the Ouroboro build, if any of you are ever familiar with that. With some minor tweaks because I need to go a little bit into intelligence. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And 
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. And with that, we got our first taste of Dark Souls. Now, I want to be a completionist Let's Play. I want to go through it and do as much as I can, find as much as I can, and just get everything. But I want to make it interesting, so I'm going to put a death counter right there. Alright, and now we got our first item, the dungeon key, and we can make our way out. Now going through this, I'm going to be needing to go through to New Game Plus Plus, because to get all of the items in the game, you need three of a single boss soul to get all of the Autorius weapons, and that's the soul of Sif. So I'm gonna have to go through it, but that's another worry for another day. So I'm gonna unequip that because it's absolute shit, and I'm gonna make my way to the first bonfire. And the very first one is lit. How ceremonious. And our first achievement. Now, if you're wondering why I'm scaling the camera down, because you can see the boss on the roof. If you try to open the door and just pan regularly, you will not get that view. But you see the little guy way up there? Yeah, that's going to be our first boss. Now, I chose to start with no starting gift. Um, you could start with black fire bombs if you want to take him out and get his hammer. Or um, the smartest thing to do is start with the master keys. I chose to start with absolutely nothing to give it a clean playthrough, like a perspective of like an every man could do this type deal if you want to use this for a guide or anything. And kind of like go where you are supposed to go in certain places. Because if you grab the master key, you can kind of work your way around the map and go a little bit of here, a little bit of there, and get so overpowered that it's kind of useless but I don't want to do that I want to kind of like go in order of the game at, at like the progression of the story so let's roll out of the way of that boulder and open the shortcut door that'll just be useful for later let's go talk to our first NPC oh you you're no hollow thank goodness very much alive I'm done for I'm afraid I'll die soon then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Okay. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Nice. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. Another achievement. I hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Alright, now back up the stairs, boulder free. Parry! Nice. I swear I'm good, that's why I wanted to make this. Uh. And another thing I wanted to note, I know I'm making Skyrim and Dark Souls videos. Oh, 
five, six years after their release. But these are my favorite games of all time. As you can probably tell by the name of the channel. And I just felt it wouldn't be right if I didn't, you know, at least pay homage to them in the first playthrough. I want to get into other games as well. I definitely want to get into The Elder Scrolls 6 when that comes out. I think that'll be a nice fresh perspective for everyone to get into. And I want to play Dark Souls 2 and 3. I just don't know which version of the two. So I'm going to heal up here and then we're going to make our way to our first boss. Let's pass through this gate and teach this guy a lesson. Now he's right below so you know what that means. Nice drop attack. Which takes him down to half health with a, a huge huge difference than trying to take him on head on and now he'll only take like three or four swipes you just stay at his butt and it's such an easy boss fight and victory achieved our first boss defeated so we get humanity and the door key so let's open that up and now we can leave but before actually heading up, we're going to head to the left and to the right. To the left, there's a hidden item. And to the right, there is a little NPC that we can talk to. So this is the item. Let's make our way over to the NPC. And this is our boy Snuggly. Uh, there's actually only one item that you could give him right now, it's the humanity you have. You could give him other items that you choose as starting gifts. But we didn't choose a starting gift, because we're baller like that, so... The other starting gifts you could use are the Souvenir of Repost, I believe. Uh, that'll give you... Uh, that probably would have been the easiest one to do for us, so we don't have to do so many invasions to finish up our build. You would do the pendant. Other than that, I don't know. But let's see our second cutscene at the top of this cliff. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran Made it to the main area of Dark Souls. So let's see what this man has to say. We have here. You must be a new arrival. Did you really miss the giant crow fucking dropping me out of the sky? To be dropped out of the sky by a giant crow? You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Too late now. I want to know if this is an everyday occurrence or not. Does this guy just come here and see crows drop? people out of the sky and just think nothing of it and just sit on this log and he's just telling us about the two bells sorry he caught me off guard with that to this accursed land of the undead. <laughs> ah, your face. You are practically hollow. I don't know. I am not. Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> mm, what? Restoring your humanity? 
Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I'd never do it, is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Come so you're saying when I get the dark hand, I shouldn't immediately use it on you? Because you're tempting me, sir. What are you looking at? Don't try anything clever. You might regret it. Never. Hmm? What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen Knowledge is carefully power. then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You'll have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burn through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg, within the plague-infested light town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> so does that mean he's been there, or he just doesn't want to go there? You ask too many questions. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. It's quite rude of you to say, but I completely understand. Alright, let's keep him moving. I'm gonna increase dexterity because it's gonna be a dexterity focus build, and I'm gonna be needing it for the short bow coming up. If you don't know that, you could uh, kind of cheese a special weapon early on and get a really good sword. That's nice. I just want to have it to collect. So we're going to grab the humanity and run over here behind this area and grab the fire bombs. Uh, this is going to be just getting all the items as possible in fire link and we're also going to be going into the graveyard. Before I talk to this guy I actually want to get the souls up top because he's a cheap little bastard and if you want to fulfill his dialogue tree you have to pay him 500 souls. Which evidently enough I get enough souls from collecting and leveling up that it almost evens out to a nice 500. So let me just pop those. And then let's speak to this man. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Why is everyone bringing up that I'm new? With us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance, but I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. A penny? You're too oh kind. My. You again? Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Definitely. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Way ahead of you, bro. Now, let me share my miracles. Miracles are going to come in handy, except this guy is cheap as fuck. And I don't know why the achievement pops if I was already part of the covenant. Oh, I guess because I discovered where I can join the covenant. New gesture. And her young knights. She is young, but burdened by an undead mission. We are her defenses to keep her from harm. An undead mission? Regrettably, I cannot pay. share that with you. But you are my pupil. Perhaps if you show your faith. Where's my money, bitch? Yep, 500 souls. I can surely tell you, of all people, undead clerics are given a mission to seek kindling. Kindling is the art of feeding bonfires with humanity. Through kindling, we shall one day be granted magnificent powers. Very well. Is that undead it? Undead kindling through kindling. I paid 500 for that. The effectiveness yeah, whatever. of the teachings. Um, I believe he only has one item that is missable. It's the Thoroughland Talisman, which 
is useless because the talisman that you start with is the canvas talisman and it's already infinitely better than that one. But, um, he's the only one that has it in the game. So if you want it, you gotta buy it from him. Alright, uh, I kinda talked through it again, but we jumped down the elevator shaft and now we're getting these treasure chests down here behind the shrine. And this leads to the graveyard. Right back here. Um, most people, you don't want to do this early on. You can't kill the skeletons. They will come back unless you have a um, faith weapon, which we don't. But we're just going to run and grab the things. Uh, you can run down those steps right there and actually go find the... Um, I don't know, it's like a weird conjurer, sorcerer person with um, Squall Lantern in his hand. I don't know the technical name for him. But you could kill him and it'll stop them from uh, infinitely respawning. So then you could actually kill them. I don't know why you try. You're a little under level to be doing that. I just grab the items and leave. So there's two more items in Firelink, I believe. Uh, there's one up the stairs and one down in this little nook over here. I go over here first and I grab that and then I drop down in case any skeletons are following me. And then I'm kind of like trapped in here with them, but it'll cause them to jump off the cliff because they're stupid. Except sometimes they get stuck like that. But it's uh, the only way to really kill them. Like I said, unless you have a faith weapon. But yeah, just a little something that you could do if they're following you and won't get off your back. And then you could just follow this path and then leave right there. I don't know why they don't do that. Instead, they'd go cliff jumping. So let's get that other item I was talking about. Up the stairs and around this way. And the very last item of Firelink that we can get right now, because we're going to need the lift later to grab one more, is a soul. So now that that's done, we've been to the graveyard. Let's go to the depths. Not the literal depths, that's a separate location. We're actually going to old New Londo ruins. And this is kind of a suicide run. I'm hoping... I could survive and keep the death counter at none, but it'll be really upsetting if I don't, so let me uh, fast equip Homeward Bones, because I'm definitely going to be needing them, and send the lift back up so I don't fall through. I usually jump down right there, but I want to collect the items, and there's one over here. There it is. So we got more souls, and we can continue through. None of these enemies are hostile. Now, through this area, if you start off with the master key, you can open this door right here. As you can see, we cannot. But this leads you to the Valley of the Drakes, which can cut through to Blight Town and so many other things, letting you skip a huge majority of the game. And if you're a sorcerer build, you want to talk to this guy down here. This is on you. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. A giant crow. I'm Ricky, the night. Yeah. It's crazy. Can you believe it? Can I believe that you're a little pussy hiding in a cell? It? Yeah, I can. Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, I've not much to occupy myself with. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what made me the best in it. Sir, you know the process of hollowing doesn't just occur what? from death. There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead. But what's there really to moan about? Hmm? There's nothing. We're both. Yep, this guy does not have an extensive dialogue. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idle. And he doesn't really have anything for us. He only has um, a catalyst and a spell. And we're not going to get into that. 
the only thing we're going to need him for is to get the achievement to get enchanting plus 5 and magic plus 10. So we're going to need to find those embers to bring to him. Alright, and you just want to smash that and grab the transient curse. That will actually let you attack the ghost up ahead. But you don't want to waste those, you only get two. And if you don't get it, then uh, you'd have to run through and just hope that you can find more or you can make the curse great sort of artorius. But that's not till later in the game. So, we're gonna run over here, try not to get killed and run through this tiny area. I like to slow down right here because it's very narrow and I can fall off. And this is a big item, a firekeeper soul. And let's bone out. No! God! No! God! Please! No! 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 And there's our first death. Great. <clears throat> I had a feeling it was going to happen and I kind of knew it was inevitable once I got hit. But I really didn't want to die there. It's stupid that they could hit you, but you can't hit them or block them. But you can't go through them, even though they're transparent. I don't know. Oh well. I'm just going to leave my souls down there, it's not really worth it. But now that we have a soul, I'm going to go talk to the firekeeper. I'm going to increase my flask. You can try to talk to her, but she can't talk yet. That's not till later in the game. Spoiler. So, now that that's done, I'm also going to be playing this through as a human. I'm going to be trying to stay in my human form as long as possible and not get invaded, hopefully. And, um, just hope I have enough humanity to stay through this whole thing. That's also why I... Uh, got the ring early on. That way if I die, that I kind of have like a little backup and I don't have to worry about collecting my souls or anything. So there we go, Ryan Reynolds in all of his glory as a nice beautiful human being. Okay, and I think... Yeah, this is too short to call an episode, so let's continue on. We're gonna make our way to the next bonfire at least. I have another like 10 minutes. So let's encounter our kind of first enemies that we're supposed to meet. And they go down easily. You always gotta watch for the one that jumps on the cliff. And then there's just this guy over here. Not really too much to worry about. You think you can chug an Estus? No, only I can chug Estus. Uh, speaking of Estus, I'm gonna try to conserve Estus here and there. Um, I was gonna... I was thinking about doing kindling. But that interferes with the dialogue later on in the game. So maybe after Capra Demon I'll go down there. But if you go down there and get the kindling first, you miss out on a dialogue option with some people. And I kind of want to give you like everything. The whole experience. The big shebang. So you can jump, drop down on the bridge and then you'll find another ring of sacrifice. So now we have two do-overs which will be helpful. Um, there is one area where we have to die. And it's a have to, it's a must. You can get past it using a glitch, but I don't really feel like I want to do that. I'm going to try to keep this glitchless and make it a clean run. So, let's kill this rat. Humanity. Nope. Rats have a huge chance of dropping humanity, and if we ever run out, uh, hopefully I'll be in a place where I could farm them. Because there's this one area where you could do a humanity run, and it's really good, especially since a lot of the factions require, or a lot of the covenants actually require humanity. And let's not die to lower level enemies, please. That'd be embarrassing. Especially when saying that it's a completionist let's play, and that I'm good. I swear, I can help teach you everything. Oh, uh, okay, and there's one more in here. And before going through that fog gate, we're actually going to drop down. And it sounds like that guy's already running. Yep, there he is. He just runs to try to get your attention, so you run past those two, and they kind of like trap you on the bridge. I didn't want that to happen. Where's the other one? Ow. Well, thank god, because this one's already smacking me, I don't need to. 
There he is. I don't know why he didn't pop up. Alright, and before continuing, let's pop in this house and grab the item over here. Sold the lost and dead. And make our way through. Now, this may suck because uh, early on there's something you can do where you could be level 15 and extremely overpowered with a lot of items and you could still invade in this area. And it's not a good time if you're a low level. They'll dark feed or they'll have like a plus 10 or plus 15 weapon and y you don't stand a chance. It's kind of like an introduction, like hey, welcome to Dark Souls. This is how it's going to be. Another piece of humanity. Uh, if you didn't want to go down and just grab the humanity, you could just jump across right there. I like to go through the whole thing, kind of show everything that I can. So let's grab the item back behind the staircase and heal up a little bit because we're going to be meeting a few more enemies. And up we go. And that is the bitch himself, the Heldrake Dragon. Making a cinematic appearance before just leaving. I like that he kind of does that. It gives you like a feel for it. Kind of foreboding, but then you don't like, you don't ever have to actually fight him. He's optional, but he just gets in your way the whole time and he's annoying. So when you finally, if you decide to kill him, it's satisfying. Except he doesn't give you anything besides his promo death. Alright, so now that I've cleared the area, I'm actually going to go over here and deal with these two guys. And I'm two handing that way, I could just break through their shield and continue forward. And then once they're dealt with, I'm just going to roll through these boxes over here to reveal a hidden staircase and make my way down. And before going through that door, I'm going to smash that over there and kill that one enemy so he doesn't follow me out. There we go. So let's talk to our first merchant in the game. Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. <laughs> Things are getting treacherous in these parts. A horrible goat demon has moved in below. Capra demon. Above, there's that humongous drake and a bull demon too. Toros demon. If you stick around this place, it might end up being your grave. Never. <laughs> here, I'm not here to chit chat. We talk business, or we talk nothing at all. Here, I'm not. We. Not the nicest chap. And he's got a lot of exclusive items. The only one I really care about is the Thank residence key. Kindly. If you have the master <laughs> key, you don't need to worry about that until you go down towards the Capra Demon, but it will be needed if you want to grab everything. Another reason I grabbed the mas I didn't grab the master key was so I would have to get the individual keys instead of just going, oh, well, I got the master key, so I don't need to bother. It just gives you more of a reason to kind of look for everything. And I feel like that way if anyone wants to like follow along or do anything, you can choose a starting gift of your own and kind of go about it how you want to go about it. It doesn't have to be, you have to do it exactly the same or you can't do it at all. It's kind of open-ended. Same with the starting class. I didn't run a really build like a, oh you have to do this, this, and this. I just want to show where everything is located if you were to run through the game li uh, linearly. Because I can still see some people to this day. I had a friend and we tried to run through this game and he didn't know anything about it. So I think it does pay off to just kind of like have an all-in-one guide to every item, to every dialogue, to every unique, to everything you need to know about Dark Souls. And with the fire lit, I believe that is going to be it for the episode. I don't have enough souls to level up, but these are my current stats. I'd like to thank you all for tuning into this episode, it means a lot, and I'll continue on with this. If you haven't already, please check my other Skyrim Let's Play that I'm doing. Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.